everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and over here we have John Lewandowski. Hey. How are you doing? How's it going, John? Pretty good. So, uh, um, before we get into our video, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, right across the street from Wilson Park. You can also call them at 414-800-7585. Press 1 on the, uh, the uh, call log there, and they will direct you right to a customer service representative. Uh, press 0, and they will call, send you to the voicemail, or you can just go to their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. All right, so before we get into this, well, I just wanted to say on behalf of us as season ticket holders, don't forget our shows for fans, my fans. Yeah. Um, today, we had a uh, group outing with the Admirals um, with the uh, Brewers. Yeah. Um, the season ticket holders have an option to get either um, Harley Davidson um, passes or um, Brewers tickets. Um, every year I go, I, I switch back and forth. So every year I either go, to, one year I go to the Burger game, one year I go to Harley Davidson. Yeah. Just to make it easy on, on me so that I, I don't do the same thing every year. Right. You know, um, but that's just been me since I've been a season ticket holder. And they've been doing this. Me, oh. I've missed the passes and games the last two years up until this one. So um, one of the things was really cool was the, the, one of the season ticket holders got to throw out the first pitch. Um, it was good to see old friends. It really was. Um, there were some fans who uh, did chants we cannot repeat on camera. No. <laughs> um, but it was I, a great time when they did them. Yeah. <laughs> um, Brewers ended up winning, I believe it was like 10 to nothing. 10 to nothing. Well, a little bit of a payback from the 15 nothing yesterday we got handed to us. So, uh, yeah. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was good to see them. Yeah, I wore this. So if you saw me there, hi. <laughs> now you know who I am. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know me, um, I've been doing this now. Uh, this is my fourth season. I'm going into my fourth season. And uh, this is going to be John's first, first full first season. First full season. I've been doing it with you now for six months, if you believe it or not. I know this has flown by. <laughs> I mean, my kid turns one in a year just to make everybody feel old. <laughs> Right. And, and my, my, my kid turns one in, like, what is that, a week? No. Not even. Not this Saturday. Even. Yeah, this Saturday he turns, turns one. So uh, for all of you that uh, have been around since that and watched me go through that, um, uh, we will be making an, an, uh, a, 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 an announcement on our behalf um, in the coming weeks. Um, just give us time. We, uh, for those of you who know me personally, you already know. Right. Um, so, uh, for that, uh, please, if you do know personally, do not comment. Yes, please don't. <laughs> yes, uh, um, so while we're here, the Admirals actually signed a pro, uh, uh, AHL contract today. Yep. His name is Parker Gahagan, and trust me, I'm going to ask him if I get the opportunity how to pronounce his last name. Right. Yes, of course. So I am going off of the spelling plus look of pronunciation. Yeah. So that is all. I we apologize if we got your name wrong. That's and if like, we did, please let us know how it is pronounced so we don't get it wrong again. Oh, that was like me with uh, Adam Haluka. I used to call him Hikawaka. <laughs> my first year. That was my first year. I messed up a lot. But um, he's 28 years old from Hamhurst, New York. Um, he's uh, six foot two, left, catches left hand, which is rare for a goalie. Yeah. Um, he's uh, 194 pounds, kind of on the light size. Is it for really him. that rare to catch left? Because I kept caught left when I played goaltender. Uh, it is a little rare nowadays. 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 <laughs> yes. Okay. It's actually even. It's not as rare as as some things. Like uh, butterfly or stand-up goalies. Nowadays, you never see stand-up no, goalies. No, you don't see that. It's all butterfly or hybrid. Right, right or hybrid. Um, it's also like catching right-handed goalies. They're they're just so split. It's like a 60-30 some years, 60-40 other right. years. Yeah. Or sorry, 70-30 what some years, 60-40 other years. It all depends on what you're looking at. Like uh, Askarov, he catches right-handed. Right. Which is odd because that makes means he's a southpaw. Right. 
Um, because most goalies hold the stick with their predominant hand. Right. Yep. So, so uh, that's that's how that goes. I played and and I I I actually went to my offhand because I can catch or throw with both. Right. So I could actually change it up on the night on you. I could, I could just go ha ha. Thought you got me scouted. <laughs> So those are some of the things that I was a switch hitter in baseball, switch, I could throw with both arms, I did pitching for a little while, could throw, uh, I was uh, 95 with my right, uh, and uh, my fastball went popped out at 88 on my left, so, yeah. I mean, you know, uh, I, my, my off-speed stuff was better left-handed, but my, you know, it's just one of those weird things, when you look at hockey, how, how the handedness is. Like left-handed or right-handed shooting defenseman is very rare. Right. It's actually a, a odd thing. Um, it's weird looking at it nowadays. All right. Well, so back to what we were talking about. Yes. Um, he has played in the ECHL for the last two years, also being loaned out to the AHL. Um, he played for in the Southern Professional League with the Evansville Thunderbolts, uh, so Southern Professional Hockey League. Um, is a step right below the ECHL. He played two games. Got called up all the way to the AHL for the Marlies. Wait, you're saying he played two for the Thunderbolts? Six. He, he played six games, but only started in five. Or had a record in five. Uh, he went three and two with a 2.63 goals against average. Then he went to the Marlies, played two games, had a 3.56 goals against average. He went one and one, not bad. Um, then he went to the uh, Newfoundland Growlers, which is one of the few Canadian hockey teams right. in the ACHL. Well, we have new ones now coming in. Yes, a new we one do. coming in this year. Um, Trey River, right? Yes, which is right outside of Montreal, if I remember correctly. Uh, for those of you that know geography, if I'm wrong, correct me. <laughs> uh, where it is. But, uh, yes, we love to learn over here. Yes. Um, he played for them. He played 15 games with a 1.81 goals against average with a .939 save percentage with 10 wins, 4 losses. Pretty much uh, almost identical on the stats for the next season in 17 games with a 2.40. So given the two extra games, the stats would actually be almost identical. Um, he had two shutouts both seasons. He had a 2.92 save percent, or 2.9, or a 0.929 save percentage, and two shutouts that year. Uh, was a 10 in the playoffs. 10 and four, 10 four and one record. Uh, he did play in the playoffs with a 2.93 Three. goals against average and a 0 0.890 save percentage. He went 0 3 in the playoffs last year. Was loan to the Chicago. Or Chicago Colorado, Colorado, bro. <laughs> Colorado uh, used to be called the Screaming Eagles. Now they're just called the Eagles. Um, he played three games for them, uh, 2.09 goals against, with a .939 save percentage and two wins. He will be with the Admirals this year. I would not be surprised to see him also with the Everblades. Depending right. on if Utah claimed him on the, on the waiver line. If they did not... It is possible. If Nashville signs him, there's no say that he just gets right. there. Yeah. Okay, so that's how that all goes. He is under an AHL deal. Um, other than that, I ain't got much on him. Um, I played for the uh, Buffalo Junior Sabres. Um, did all right there, but he played a lot of games, so it was like, mm. right. Um, his high school, they have no stats for. Um, he went to the R. It was an army. West Point, I believe. Yes, West Point. Yeah. Um. Uh, did first year was kind of rough. Second year was a little rough, better, a little better. Third year winning record. Fourth year winning record. Also had. Four, five games with the San Jose Barracudas and the Colorado Eagles. Yep. He got sent there and never played. 2018-2019 uh, did not play. Do not know why. But I will find out. Trust me, that'll be a question we all ask. But given that, that's all we got on him. So this is a promo 